Well, we have a real home for a week, and so it's time to give Sweet a clean out. She's been, um, well, I guess we've been in her six weeks now, and we've gone 13 states in the total of uh, the time we've had her. And so we're cleaning her out today, and a couple of people have asked to see what's about. So here it is. We've pulled things out today so they can get a broom in there. So here are the toolboxes and the jack and the antifreeze and stuff. And one of the hacks is all that stuff goes in here under the floor. There's a door that opens and closes and locks. And so we can keep all that stuff in there. And uh, plate, the old hatch is still here. And you can see there maybe, nope, you can't. But here you can see the much larger duck that comes out of the truma. The truma has two ducks that go forward, and so the two ducks are seen under there, and it turns into one big four-inch duck, and then that pressurizes this whole area underneath, and so the air comes out both at the duck that comes with, but it also comes out over here, and that floor in this whole area stays nice and toasty warm. Uh, little tiny things. Opening, pulling the TV out was hard because the bracket used to run into it, so the bracket is moved back on this side of the door, which makes it much easier to get the DVD player and all that stuff while it's open. Over here is the fold out, is the pull out drawer under the sink where we keep sponges and soap. Under there, you can see the water filter system that keeps our water very nice and tasty all the time. Very easy to do. Uh, back in the bathroom, uh, the sink has been set up in a way that I can, you know, we can all wash our hands after we're doing whatever we did in the bathroom. Not really a big fan of opening the door and going into the kitchen and using that sink. I uh, want to finish up the whole job here. So that's what we do. Um, there were other changes made. We separated the shower from the faucet. This faucet head was smaller and so it worked nice for the smaller sink. If I had to do it again though, I probably would leave the old faucet there. This works great and I like it better, but it was a lot of work to do. Uh, where did the sink go? Well, we'd like the sink. Someone suggested to us that the best thing for the sink the big sink that comes with it is for washing dishes. So there's a new place under here, under the bed. Used to be a small drawer that we couldn't get into often from the top. So we've cut it so it now it's accessed from the front. And so in here is the old sink. Which I'm gonna try to get out. And the old sink what we use it for is dishes. So if I got a big party in here, we once had a party of seven here, is I wash the dishes in the sink, but when I want them to dry, I come over and we stack them up in here and let them drip dry for a while before they go. And this is uh, fixed up in that this latch does work correctly. That was a, a change change we had to make so it works nicely now without breaking. Uh, it's actually not possible. We put an extension on this so you can't push it up too far. Down's the only way it goes and down is the way that makes it drop. Cool. Anything else in here? Hmm. Of course there's that little rod. I'm surprised how much we use the rod. We hang towels and things on it turn that fan on at night and the air just blows through here and we'll usually dry even cotton things overnight in there. So that's real nice. Uh, back here, as far as everything else back here, I think it's pretty standard. Oh, of course, there's that little latch that holds the microwave door closed. So we can open that up and there's where we keep our bowls. Uh, things that are new. Back here, just like everybody else, I think, Kathy stores food. And down below, 
more food and and stuff. There's her, her little step stool for Kathy to get into bed at night. Matt has a much better solution. I'm still working on that. We travel with suitcases back here. So this strap, which maybe you can see here, um, is strapped there. It has eye hooks and we can unhook it, but we rarely do. The suitcases go behind that. And so when we step on the brakes, the suitcases always stay where they belong and never get in the way of Kathy getting into the drawers. Uh, there is a new space over here next to, which is where we keep the dirty clothes. And also behind the dirty clothes, we keep our frying pan. We don't use it that often. And it seemed like a nice place to shove it. Someday I want a wine cabinet there, but right now. Uh, Emily has come. Uh, she's a niece who's with us on the weekend or with this whole week. Hi. Oh, that's very sweet. And so she's joined us for the tour here. So all this stuff is what we keep in the back. Here we have a stove and the suitcases that we said we kept uh, in the hallway behind that piece of rope. Now those things, they go right here. Oh, here, let me back up. So this is the back of suite. It has wood added to it. I wish it was fancier, but I'm not really a carpenter. So can you hold that, hold that door open for me? There you go. So that door opens up and that's where we keep the barbecue grill and the suitcases and there's tons of room for other stuff you saw here that's where the sink came out but also under there i keep the broom um also there's a cubby over here next to the door there and that's where we keep the electric cords and the hoses and odds and ends like that so they're right at hand when we come in and they don't flop around and drive me crazy all the time uh, so you can close that door now. Thank you. Now there's a door over here. Can you open that door up? It's at the bottom. There you go. That's her first time. Good job. So here's another compartment. Now it has two compartments. It's a small one on the side and then the bigger one back here goes way deep. There's the spare tire. I didn't bother taking it out for the cleaning. So what goes there? Well, uh oh. We have Aiden. He's come to visit us too. Aiden, can you give us a wave? Aiden, oh. give us a wave. He's not, he's not waving. Okay, so in the thinner okay. compartment, we keep all of our quick... Can I close this? When we stop and have a... Yeah, you can close that. When we are stopping quick and having a meal on the road and we feel like having a little fancy, there is the rug that we put out in front of the house. That's a big 12-foot yeah, rug. There's a table that folds up real quick and two chairs. And there's our leveling jack and the pad to kneel on when you're changing out that wastewater on the side. Um, then over here in that larger compartment on the side are things like 4th of July lights and flags and Christmas lights and everything. Stones and things. We, ha we have lots. Oh, the crowd is growing. Hi. Here's Kathy with a box. Oh, thank you for bringing our box to. We did have pizza tonight. Hi, do you want to say hi? Hi. Okay. Hi. We're all getting ready to go for a swim. So, uh, Christmas decorations, 4th of July decorations, all that kind of stuff. One second, we're doing the video and then we'll talk about all that. Um, big bag that keeps all the winter gear and some lighter summer gear if it comes down to that. A bag that keeps all kinds of shoes from Alaska all the way down to the Caribbean. And of course we need a tent and sleeping bags and then hiking poles and someone, hmm, I wonder who that is. That, that might be me. A slice of pizza, which looks like it's still edible. So I'm gonna take it away from the ants. Upstairs, we have the bed. Uh, oh boy, on this door, it's going to happen soon, we just never have time. We're going to put map of Canada and the United States on the door. And as we go to each state, we'll fill it in and so our back door will have all our states in it. Uh, right now we're washing the sheets, so the mattress is kind of up and standing. It allows you to see the Feroli system inside there. The light blue ones are soft and the, the darker blue ones are a little heavier, so this is where we keep our head. I really like that system. The mattress is very comfy with this. It did raise it up about two and three quarter inches, but it was well worth it. 
Uh, also, as some of you noticed in some of my pictures, there's a USB jacks here, and this is a vent for the heater. But also, we can turn it on in the summertime, and it recirculates the air very nicely so that uh, all the refrigerated air from the air conditioning gets pushed all around the vehicle and also comes out there nice. Um, that was a bit of a trick to hook in. I'm not really giving the instructions on how this, any of this happened, but you can see that hot water, uh, that, that vent pipe is coming through there. And would you point to the orange valves over there? See, the, on this wall, there's two orange valves, that one and that one. And that's different than the bypass valve that comes with it. It allows us to have a pressure regulator for all the water going into the vehicle on city water. And the second valve is for filling the tank, which is, doesn't have a regulator on it. So we can fill the tank real fast, but also make sure that nothing ever breaks from overpressure. Hmm. Uh, the regulator is there behind that new wall that you see there. And okay, and we're going to close the door now. So you step back and there you close it. So is there everything we've seen? I think we've seen everything. Uh, of course, this strap, we got to get rid of that handle. But the strap is very important to get out in safety, so it still works there. Oh, and of course, one of our favorite features is this, is this screen. Oh my, there's really just nothing like the fresh air that comes in through that screen at night when we're sleeping there. We really like any night that isn't raining, we are laying back there feeling that fresh air just flow through the whole vehicle. Okay, that's a quick tour of suite. Thanks. Okay. Okay, bye. everybody wants to say bye. Aiden, Aiden you say bye Aiden, too. Let's say bye. 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 bye.